Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome back. This is News File, your most authoritative news analysis show. And on News File, we put Ghana first. And there's, there's a bit, a little intervention to that's coming in respect of the yes. And we understand that it is operating under the NBSSI enactment. Uh, uh, okay. So a certain law is completed. Is that not it? So uh, for those of you who feel that there's no legal backing for it, that's the answer. Uh, for you. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Your views and comments are welcome. We'll share them with the rest of the world. And this show is brought to you by the kind of sponsorship of MTN everywhere you go. Welcome to the New World Bank of Africa, strong as a group and close as a partner. It is also brought to you by Errata Motors, and that's where you, you should go and get the best vehicles at the lowest prices, uh, brand new or slightly used vehicles. You get them at prices that you'll be shocked. Uh, yourself. Uh, indeed, thank you. Now, a few of your comments also here. Uh, this one says, prior to the uh, re-denomination, mm -hmm. the CD was exchanging at uh, 10,000 <laughs> CDs to the dollar. Come re-denomination with four zeros knocked off, the change uh, becomes one to one. What's changed? Kenke now sells <laughs> for one Ghana CDs. But for re-denomination, we would be buying a ball of Kenke for 10,000 CDs. Would it have made a, any sense our government appointees to stop insulting our intelligence? This is Chris Siame in Kumasi. Uh, this one too says, the unprecedented attitude of government officials to play the political ostrich with the uh, realities of the economy has been the biggest responsibility for the deepening economic woes. Dr. Mensah Otabil was spot on with his speech and may God bless him for upholding the truth. Zion in Wa says, good morning, Samson. I think we are not getting our priorities right as a country. The North is our country's food basket. So we have to ensure we maintain it by way of providing subsidized fertilizers for farmers. Okay, that's a place where we are cutting down trees and planting trees, same trees, not really changing anything. Uh, this says, I think, will encourage the youth to get into farming and hence reduce unemployment and rural urban migration. Uh, Mark Wanaba says that the YES package may only pour out cash for the youth to spend lavishly on other things. Um, okay. There again, let's also be optimistic about it that the, those who are going to manage it will ensure that we get value for money. Thank you very much. Now, gentlemen, can we briefly look at the matters arising out of the commission? Then we go to Spio Gabra uh, quickly and his vetting. Matters arising out of the commission of inquiry that was set up by the president to look into the Black Stars. Uh, you know, World Cup, World Cup uh, outing. And uh, in the course of the week, the commission has been sitting, and we are told that as much as, uh, as, much as 82,500 Ghana cities was paid to non-players. So if you like, put it straightly, non-players also received uh, appearance fees. That sounds a bit bizarre to some people. Uh, briefly, I have on the line uh, lawyer Kwame Akufu, who has been speaking, uh, writing a lot about this matter. And there's also the, the letter that came as a response to GFA's letter to FIFA, which seeks to suggest that GFA's the investigation as is ongoing cannot seek to make any adverse findings against the GFA. Question is, if no adverse findings should be made against the GFA, what's the point having the GFA at the commission? Mr. Kwame Akufu, what do you say about that? Good morning, <coughs> your listeners. Good morning to everybody in the studio. First and foremost, this argument was made, and many proper minds were agreed that the first two terms of reference under which the commission was set up way into managerial issues of the Ghana Football Association. Mm. So FIFA's letter is basically a reiteration of what we feared. 
Did I lose him? Okay. I think I think I've lost Kwame Akufu. Uh, we'll raise him back and then take that point quickly. Uh, why should that come as a surprise to us? I think the GFA didn't hide that, did they? No, no. Perhaps it's the quantum of how much they, they received. Got. That was not known mm. to the public. That's about seven officials. Yes. Uh, well, uh, on the paper, on paper. Right. Yes, but this has been a practice, I think, for some time now. Excuse me, why are you saying on paper? Well, you know some of us, we dig into all sorts of things. A bird whispered into my ears some time ago that indeed, and I hope... <laughs> okay, your okay. is back. Okay, okay, Kwame, continue, please. Okay, then. Yeah, the point I was making was this. If the utility will be supplanted position that at the base that singly is with okay the, 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 line it, the line is very bad. I think we'll have to get it corrected and get you back on the line. Kuku, you're making that point. That is on paper, but not what? Reality, was it? Yes, I, I, but the focus really at this stage mm. of the proceedings, the commission is proper, is still dealing with public funds. Right. And those who handle the public funds mm. in terms of uh, the money is given to. Mm. So you haven't finished the point about the seven officials because you're saying that is only on paper. Yes, but indeed, I should have preceded that with mm. the point I'm making okay. as preliminary. So, so far, so good, in my candid opinion. The, two, the first two terms of uh, the uh, elements in the terms of reference have not been touched. And some of us were worried that that could easily get Ghana into some difficulty. Okay. FIFA's own view is that public funds that are given for those purposes should be subjected to interrogation and audit. And I don't think anybody is going to fight over that. Okay. But now we're coming to the specifics. What is happening at the commission and this 82,500, uh, I think it's the quantum that perhaps is surprising people by, or some of us. But it's an old practice. I suspect from 2006 or so when this idea of uh, giving them some, is it uh, on a ram, on it, uh, came, came up, you know. Uh, but the seven my own checks and i said a bed whispered into my ears a bed within the corridors of the ministry of youth and sports let's be precise whispered into my ears if you go into the history some of those monies are shared together with some people in the ministry of youth and sports so it's oh, not yeah. actually seven. Oh, the seven is only on paper as you're saying i i would suggest that bottom line next time run the officials of the Ministry of Youth and Sports who are recipients or beneficiaries of some of those monies must be made to sign to receive. Yes, there's no documentation to the effect, but they shared. They get some. You understand? I see. If you are challenging the practice, let's challenge it. If we think that officials don't deserve any money or deserve a certain level of money, let's put that on paper. Mm. But it's a practice. Okay that they get some. Hmm. I, I hope you get my point. I, I do. But uh, sooner than later, if some of us are pushed to the wall, maybe we'll have to give some proof. <laughs> but I am telling you that officials of the Ministry of Youth and Sports and some other elements in the GFA whose names do appear on the paper, the seven, all are beneficiaries of that money. So somebody signs. Interesting. But a lot more people share it. Okay. It's Interest, a fact. Right. Interesting there. Uh, it looks like a business. And it didn't start Another today. business there. Now, now um, Kwame is back on the line. Kwame, yes, briefly, the point you were making, uh, the question is that if by FIFA's warning, we cannot, we cannot make any adverse findings against the GFE officials, what's the point having them at the commission? That, that's the problem that I have. Basically, what it means is that the commission may try to skirt a fine line and in that process will not be able to do its work effectively. Secondly, if they choose to do their work effectively, to make adverse findings against GFE officials, we then risk a ban. So certainly, the setting up of the commission for the purposes of looking into GFE internal affairs, that has no good. Many people are agreed that the first two terms of reference are controversial and will wade into managerial issues of the commission. Remember that the commission has been set up by some executive instrument, a constitutional instrument for that matter. 
and there is a need for them to cover all the terms of reference. Unfortunately, the two terms, or first two terms of reference, prospectively will lead to interference with GFA affairs. So we, we have a catch-22 situation. <laughs> so far as I'm concerned, I didn't think that we needed the commission to not add any wrongdoing that had occurred. Okay, Kwame, we have moved on. Things. We have moved on. We have the commission. And you are saying that we are in a dilemma. So how do we resolve that? I think I've heard the minister suggest that we may want to go back and modify the terms. Is that how to go about it? I, I'm not too certain, especially when the commission has started its work under a particular form of law, mm. under a particular regulated system. Mm. If the commission has been disbanded and a new constitutional instrument set up, perhaps it will have seemed useful. But are, we, are they going to amend the constitutional instrument? I'm not certain that you can amend a constitutional instrument. Okay. Um, Kwame, I think he, I, I'm monitoring you quite a bit, and uh, on your wall, on social media, you are doing a, an Ebola campaign. Maybe we should pay attention to that for now. <laughs> Briefly, what, 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 do you, what do you think, um, our management of that, that issue? Just I briefly. I've mm. with several people in the past. Nothing has been said. Recently, the president made certain, gave certain directives. I was frightened because the directives that the president issued were basically primary. First and foremost, he spoke of the thermal scanners at the airport. He meant we didn't have them. He said set up the Ebola treatment centers. He meant we didn't have them. He said screen foreign students. I do not know the modalities for screening these foreign students when they arrive in the jurisdiction. The modalities must be put down because some of the foreign students are already within the country. We don't know whether they need a screening certificate to go to their schools before they will be admitted. And let us remember, it is only Noguchi that has the capacity to test for Ebola in the Republic. We have over 40,000 foreign students in the country. Mm. Can Noguchi alone test for 40,000 students or screen 40,000 students? There's also another matter of grave worry, the issue of the Ebola treatment centers. Why are they going to be set up? I've had 37 issue a hotline. If you set up an Ebola treatment center within 37, you contaminate patients coming there. We haven't seen tent camps being set up for Ebola treatment in the future. I would suggest very respectfully that the media should take up their cameras and the TV crew and ask the Minister of Health and his deputy to take you to the various places so that we can see what is going on on the ground. All right. I would suggest that you visit the immigration centers and see whether our borders are being monitored properly mm. because we have not been able to handle cholera. Okay. For the society that cannot carry an ant, we don't expect that society to carry an ant. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you too for having me. I, I find that a bit interesting uh, from your background to <laughs> seek to share some expertise yeah. on... And I think it's also on record, and I believe it's been said at the Commission, that those monies, at least those on paper, mm. were had cabinet approval, right, as well as that of the chief of staff, right. Okay, right. Okay, thank you very much. Now, um, James, <coughs> what, what do you say about the commission's work and what is coming up so far? Well, uh, something I, I think that for me, the uh, commission, for now, is doing a great job. Uh, the commission was set up to, of course, help us unravel, I mean, the reasons behind our national team's abysmal performance. And of course, other embarrassing issues uh, out of um, the participation, which arise out of the participation of our national team and to make certain recommendations to the appointing authority for action to be taken. Now, the worry of many is that the work of the commission is bound to interfere with uh, the administration of football in this country, contrary to FIFA uh, uh, um, rules. Yes. But something we must bear in mind that we are talking about a sovereign country <laughs> acting in accordance with its own constitutional provisions to ensure that matters that are of a public interest nature are delved into. Have you seen FIFA's warning? Well, <laughs> Samson, I've seen FIFA's warning, but <laughs> I, I, I really don't understand why okay. at this stage in the work of the commission, FIFA would come out and issue warnings as if to say they already know what the outcomes of uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the commission's work will be. I'm I mean, sure Mama, Mama Yarga is saying, yes, yeah, it's caution. a caution. And Mama Yarga is saying maybe we should ask the G, uh, GFA to submit its letter that is sent to FIFA so that we can all see the content because it's likely 
that GFA may have, you know, given a wrong impression of what the commission was going to do, and that's how that, that, that's that's is cut in the way. That, that's unnecessary. I see. But Completely unnecessary. I see. But something to build on the point I was trying to make, I mean, we must remember that FIFA is an association. Mm. Whilst Ghana is a sovereign state. Right. Uh, now, look, President Mills had occasion to uh, deal with FIFA. He sought clearly, I mean, at the time when issues surrounding uh, uh, the financial administration and, uh, you know, issues which also had to do with uh, the perceived misappropriation or misuse of public funds which were uh, uh, given to the GFA to manage football in this country, decided to seek clearance from uh, uh, the FIFA in order to have that committee investigate uh, uh, the GFA, I mean, on such issues. And like uh, uh, Kweku said in his earlier submission, FIFA was very emphatic that for them to demand the GFA to be accountable to government did not amount to interference. No, I think we, so should, we should read what FIFA said. Okay, very well. See, that would, that would this, help the The first letter, right. the one that they were seeking information, if you look at the third, second paragraph, it says, provided the reports are true, we deem it important to clarify from the beginning the procedures and to ensure, this is critical, to ensure that the Ghana Football Association can cooperate without interference as required by the FIFA statutes. So right. there's even the option that they can cooperate. Mm. But the last one, the one, this one was dated 16 July, but this is dated mm, 7th August. August. Yeah. Now let's listen carefully to what they are saying. <clears throat> he said, notwithstanding the above, we would like to respectfully remind you that FIFA encourages its member associations to engage in constructive dialogue with their respective national governments in order to develop football throughout the country by means of a coordinated and concerted effort. Furthermore, we acknowledge that member associations must be held accountable to their national government for the use of public funds. However, member associations are requested to present their annual accounts to their Congress for funds received from FIFA, their confederation and sponsors. The, con coordinate, the consolidated annual account of an a member association must therefore be submitted to and approved by its Congress. According to the information that you have provided to us in your letter, dated 4th August 2014, we understand that GFA does not receive public funding for its work and that public funds allocated to the national team are managed by representatives of the government of the Republic of Ghana. As such, officials that will be competent to account for the usage of public funds do not appear to be those of the GFE. I think this is as clear as daylight. Mm. And that is why it is the Ministry of Youth and Sports Accountants who are there making the submissions on the public funds matter. Mm. If I'm a recipient of an amount of money approved by cabinet, am I the guilty party? Okay. Well, so, uh, well, uh, that letter clearly, I mean, clarifies uh, the position. And clearly, it also reinforces the relevance of the commission set that, that was set up by um, the, 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 the president. Mm. Uh, as for me... To the extent that they don't touch the first two... Well, right? well <laughs> what is important is that uh, we must understand FIFA clearly has defined what in its estimation will amount to interference. If the uh, result of the commission's work uh, is that uh, FIFA officials will be removed... The GFA clearly, officials. Sorry, okay. GFA yeah. officials mm. will be removed then... You can talk about interference. Okay. Uh, we, we were supposed to do that briefly and move uh, on to okay. the next issues. Uh, Nana, what do you say briefly about the developments as regards the commission and uh, FIFA's uh, latest? Well, I mean, all of us are happy that there's some sort of inquiry into the organization of the FIFA uh, 2014 World Cup. Nobody in this country is happy. Mm -hmm. the, the, the results are the poorest results in the three times that we've been to the World Cup. Um, there were bizarre incidents that made Ghana a laughing stock mm -hmm. in the world. It's still making Ghana a laughing stock. So obviously there has to be some inquiry so that some of, some of the things are not repeated. So we are all happy with it. Um, there seems to be some sabar rattling by members of government. And it looks like my brother Gaga it also seems to be throwing that line. And I particularly remember a member of the commission that, that has been appointed to do this investigation saying that you know, a sovereign country and we don't care what FIFA 
says we're going to do our job we the president has appointed and I, I i'm thinking that all that kind of sentiment is not necessary yeah nobody has said that you are not a sovereign country i mean <laughs> or that you don't have a president when you join international organizations they also have their regulations and by joining you, you submit yeah. to them yeah. we've been in this country where even a loan from china they say we have to go to imf to approve the sovereign country going for a loan approved by the parliament we still have to go to the IMF. so when you willingly submit yourself to international organizations you have to be <coughs> mindful of the regulations at the end of the day you can have the best of both worlds in my view you can you know there has been public funds involved in the organization of the world cup an investigation into how those public funds were used is very useful even gfa itself you can make findings of facts that GFA itself would find useful. Without if you made findings as a GFA, you did this in America, you did this in Holland, and you did this in Brazil, and it, it turned out to have negative consequences. It will be useful for the GFA. They will take notes and through their own procedures, try and effect corrective measures. So you'll be having the best of both worlds. There's no need to do this saber rattling and all of that. Mm. And I'm sure with the caliber of people on the commission, a, a supreme, a, an appeals court judge, a, a, law, a season lawyer, and all of that, mm. they'll be mindful of the, of the FIFA regulations as they go about their work. At the end of the day, I'm sure if it, the work is done well, it will benefit everybody, the GFA, the government, the country. Okay. And, and indeed, GFA accounts are audited by the Auditor General. Right. And uh, as we understand, there's also a certain call on the Bank of Ghana to come and uh, clarify some matters. Uh, there's, a, there's a texter here who says that government <coughs> said $3 million was what was flown to Brazil. It has now emerged that $4 million was what was withdrawn the same day and sent to Brazil. Um, Godwin, uh, what, should be, what should the attitude be? Like Kuku said, it, Kuku reminds us, and Lea uh, Kwame Akufu also reminds us. It looks as if the terms of reference of the commission, number one and two, may have to be skipped because if you go into them you will interfere uh you will go against fifa's uh, article 13 article 13 and is it uh, 17 which requires that they do their work independently without any third party interference how do we get out of that situation i think there are just two situations mm. <laughs> situation number one will relate to matters that are uniquely within the gfa as a private entity <laughs> that comprises other stakeholders who are not government or government related. So with respect to those, you will not expect government or even tolerate uh, government investigations <coughs> into them. Because there are structures that enable those uh, component entities to hold the GFA accountable and they mm -hmm. can fairly do that. So that if they present their statement of account, audited account, that those entities are able to, to, to scrutinize them and take the necessary decisions. Yeah. But the second aspect will then have to do with public funds that have been approved for use by the GFA, which have to be accounted for. And I think that if we want to find out how those monies were spent, that cannot be a problem that I mean, we have to, to, to be worried about. Although those terms of reference may be there and may indicate possible uh, interference, I think that the members of the commission, very much aware of these two situations, are able to to the fine line that we all are, are, are talking about. So really, I do not see it to be such a big deal of a problem. I see. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.